how to fight kind of through the rest of the season when you're starting uh, one and six? I mean, what, what are you trying to make of the rest of this? Um, I'm just trying to have guys fight. It's all about fighting, no matter what you do in life. Uh, you got a job, you got to fight for a higher position. You got basketball, you got to fight for winning games every night. You got just life, your kids, you got to fight for your kids, you got to fight for everything. So I'm just trying to install the fight in these guys. Because as long as we fight, uh, it's really hard to uh, compete against us when we fight and we battle. And that makes the game a lot more easier when we just battle and tough it out and just fight and have the mindset that we're going in this game to just be the team that we know we can be. And, and I know um, for either of you guys, I know it's probably hard to assess because of how lopsided the game was at halftime, but it seems like you guys have had games where one half is pretty solid and the other, it kind of slips away, whether it's the first or the second. Um, is there anything you can pinpoint that you should try to do to just kind of assemble a more complete game? Um, just trying to uh, have the guys huddle up a little bit more when you start seeing stuff uh, slip away, like on free throws and stuff like that. And that I feel like that would just get guys to focus in more and like understand more that oh, if we don't change what we're doing now, then the game can get lost early on, then later on. So uh, just trying to huddle up more, basically, to uh, make the guys understand. Like, we just need to take one position at a time and just keep fighting. Any other questions for Eric or Dante? Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.